The following segment is sponsored by Springfield Clinic. Joining us this Wellness Wednesday is Rachel Ashcraft, Springfield Clinic Breast Surgical Oncology, and Amy Mann, Springfield Clinic Genetic Specialist. And today we're talking about high-risk breast cancer patients and genetic testing. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, Thanks for, for having us. us. All right, so my first question is just what qualifies a patient as high risk for breast cancer? So there are a lot of factors that go into um, determining whether or not a woman is high risk for breast cancer. It includes both her personal history um, and her reproductive journey as well as uh, her family history from both the paternal and maternal side. Okay, and what are suggested screenings for high risk patients? So once a patient has been determined to be high risk, there are quite a few options that we discuss with them. Um, one of the primary ones being increased screening. Uh, which is focused on early detection. So uh, mammograms, MRIs, and uh, frequent breast exams. Okay. And how do you know if you qualify for genetic screening and just what is the cost? Um, for genetic screening, uh, in our clinic we follow the NCCN guidelines for who we should consider to have a conversation about genetic testing. Um, in general that is um, if you have a family history of a person with breast cancer diagnosed earlier than age 50, three or more breast cancer diagnosis on the same side of the family. Um, if you have a first or second degree relative with ovarian cancer, pancreatic cancer, or a male breast cancer in your family, those are people that we're wanting to sit down with and have a conversation about um, talking about genetic screening. Yeah, and what is genetic screening test for? Um, genetic test that we use in our office um, is a test for mutations in 48 different genes. Um, and it's an analysis of um, if you have a gene mutation, you may be at an increased risk for developing cancer. And what are the follow-up recommendations after the screening? Um, after your t genetic test comes back, if you had a genetic mutation, we have you come in and sit down with us and have a conversation um, that is specific to your genetic mutation and to your family history as well. So for some people, it really is just maybe you need increased screening, uh, maybe you need a colonoscopy more often, maybe you need to see a dermatologist a couple times a year, maybe you need to think about pancreatic screening. But for our high-risk high breast mutations, um, we maybe we add an MRI, risk-reducing medications, and for our very high-risk patients um, with genetic mutations, we discuss risk-reducing surgeries. And just where can viewers go to set up an appointment? Um, in general, in Springfield Clinic, I feel like our gynecologists and primary care physicians are a really great first line at identifying who um, would benefit from genetic screening. So have a conversation if you meet the criteria that I discussed before. Um, and if you, um, you can also call our office and we're happy to um, help in that, that aspect. All righty. Well, thank you so much for joining us and providing this information. Well, thank you so thank much you. for having us. Thanks for watching. Stick around by subscribing today and don't miss a single video.